Hello everyone, today I'm going to demonstrate uh, the DIY MIDI foot controller that it's a prototype now and uh, I made it using Arduino Uno so basically this is the setup I have two switches there and uh, connected to digital input 9 and 10 there and uh, I have a LED at pin number 13 so that's the setup very simple and that LCD is just for you know not doing nothing there probably I'll configure it later to show the patch name or something like that so for now uh, the setup is like this and uh, I'm going to connect it to computer and LED blinks every time it connects so, see yeah that's how I programmed it so that I, I know that it's working and uh, once it's connected to computer I'm going to go for this program okay now this program is uh, meant for converting serial signals into you uh, into MIDI signal so it, it uh, communicates with your Arduino you know and then converts its signals into MIDI so that's what it does and uh, I have installed a virtual MIDI port let me go to control panel let's see yeah there it is MIDI yoke you need to install that thing or any virtual MIDI port um, there are many applications available for um, virtual, uh, virtual MIDI port you can install one of them I choose this one because I don't know it was written in some website and some dude used it so yeah uh, this application is open now so let's walk through it now it's asking me to select port number so I've selected port A that's uh, no it asked me to select the device and I selected Arduino Uno and uh, it's asking it's asking me to select the power rate and I set it set it up as one one five two zero zero the last one. So I'm going to hit F. It says there. Now the port with which I want to communicate. So I'll select the first one. I'll press A. And then I'll select the third one. I'll press C. It'll take some time to load after that. So yeah, be patient. It'll take some time. So basically, the program is whenever I uh, press the switch, it will send a, a CC message, program change message. See uh, that blink? That means uh, now program is ready to communicate. And every time I engage, toggle the switch, the LED is going to blink. See? So yeah, program is running right. That's a little. Uh, check that I put in there so I've installed MIDI OX and uh, MIDI OX so this is to monitor the MIDI signals so I'm going to toggle the switch again and we'll see what appears here all right I will look at that information so we got a B0 message that's the channel cha control change uh, command on channel 1 and see the data is 1 now I'm toggling the second switch so yeah it's a control change command on the same channel but data is 2 so that differentiates uh, switch 1 from 2 so that will be helpful I'll tell you when and uh, uh, of course it says modulation and breathe but not really important I'll tell you why uh, because in the end I'm going to use it to control amplitude here it is it'll take some time to load uh, yeah. that was quick and now yeah, amplitude is a bitch it always comes up with this kind of messages so yeah you need to go here select a show and this is important you need to select MIDI input as the port that you it so yeah this is the one I choose earlier so I'm going to take that one and 
doesn't say yeah, I told you Amplitude is a bitch it doesn't respond well with the issue drivers I need to restart it probably I need to shut this thing first and now we'll go to task manager must be so the basic problem is with ASIO this one okay everything looks fine now I think I should start the amplitude now there it is alright now I need to go to settings and see if the MIDI input is for MIDI 1 okay that looks good and then we will go here this thing says MIDI so, yeah we come here and uh, here we are the global uh, I've already configured these two I'm going to clear it for you guys clear all so it's all clear now I can program this thing uh, I need to click select that thing preset next and click on learn alright now it says waiting for MIDI input now I'm going to toggle the switch see now it stored the value there CC1 and now I'm going to do the same with the second thingy let's preset previous so I'm going to click on learn and I'm going to toggle the switch too. There you go. We got one and two there. All right, it's set up now, and let's select some preset. I got a list of crazy. Yeah. Now I'm going. I'm, I'm toggling the switch. See. toggling the second switch go back there okay now I'm toggling the first switch and now I'm toggling the second switch we are going back so yeah that was my demo and uh, I will upload the oh god somebody shut this thing up Okay, now uh, I will upload the all the instructions how I did it and uh, all the links of uh, good people who helped me to do it and I'll upload the code also. Yeah, have fun.